why do so many freelancers find themselves in financial turmoil despite earning a decent income? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? The answer lies in the unique challenges that come with freelancing. Firstly, income can be as unpredictable as the British weather. One month you're basking in the sun and the next you're caught in a downpour without an umbrella. Secondly, there are no employer safety nets. Holiday pay, sick leave, pensions, those are luxuries freelancers often forego. Then there's the tax saga. Navigating the complexities of self-employed tax can be like solving a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. And let's not forget about the lack of financial planning. With no fixed income, setting a budget can feel like trying to hit a moving target. Lastly, the temptation to overspend is all too real when you're your own boss. So, as you can see, freelancing is a financial tightrope walk. But remember, financial stability is not a luxury, but a necessity for every freelancer. Financial stability as a freelancer is achievable. Here's how. First and foremost, budgeting is critical. It's like a roadmap for your money guiding you toward your financial goals. When your income fluctuates, it's tempting to spend freely when you're riding high. But a budget helps you allocate funds for leaner times. We all know the saying, save for a rainy day. Well, in freelancing, those rainy days are not just possible, they're probable. Next, let's talk about the importance of an emergency fund. This is a safety net that can catch you when client payments are delayed, contracts fall through, or unexpected expenses arise. Aim to have at least three to six months worth of living expenses tucked away. It's a tall order, but having this cushion can make the difference between staying afloat and sinking financially. Separating personal and business finances is another key step. This makes tracking income, expenses and taxes easier. And it also puts you in a professional mindset, reminding you that freelancing isn't just a job, it's a business. So. Open a dedicated business bank account and use it for all your freelance transactions. Understanding taxes is also vital. As a freelancer, you're responsible for calculating and paying your own taxes. Don't wait until the last minute to figure it out. Use tax estimation tools, consult with a professional if necessary, and always set money aside for the tax man. Remember, tax evasion is not a savvy financial strategy, it's a crime. Lastly, don't forget about investing for retirement. As a freelancer, you may not have the benefit of an employer-sponsored pension plan, but that doesn't mean you can't build a nest egg. Explore options like individual retirement accounts and self-employed pension plans. Start small if you must, but start. The power of compound interest is on your side. With these practical money management tips, you're well on your way to navigating the financial challenges of freelancing successfully. Remember, it's not about how much you earn, but how well you manage what you earn. With the right strategies in place, a freelancer can turn financial instability into financial success. Or what if a freelancer could turn their financial struggles into a strength? Ponder on that for a moment. Financial discipline, often seen as a daunting task, is truly a powerful tool in the hands of the self-employed. It's the foundation upon which financial stability and freedom are built. Picture this, you're no longer living paycheck to paycheck, but instead, you're confidently navigating your finances, planning for the future, and thriving. How do we get there? By sticking to a budget, by setting clear, realistic financial goals, by making informed financial decisions based on financial literacy and understanding. Imagine the satisfaction of watching your savings grow, the relief of having an emergency fund for unforeseen circumstances, the joy of achieving your financial goals, that's the power of financial discipline. Financial discipline does not mean denying yourself of life's pleasures. It's about making thoughtful decisions that add value to your life. Financial discipline is not restrictive. Instead, it offers the freedom every freelancer seeks. Remember, financial stability is not a far-fetched dream for freelancers. It's a reality that's within reach, provided you exercise discipline and adhere to certain financial principles. Let's recap what we've covered today. Firstly, budgeting is crucial. It's about knowing where your money goes and planning ahead to ensure your income covers your needs and wants. Secondly, having an emergency fund. It's a safety net that cushions you during lean times or unexpected expenses. Thirdly, separating finances. Keeping your personal and business expenses distinct makes tracking and understanding your financial health much easier. Fourthly, understanding taxes. As a freelancer, you must be well-versed with the tax obligations to avoid penalties and make use of potential deductions. Lastly, investing for retirement. The earlier you start, 
the more comfortable your retirement will be. With these strategies, every freelancer can turn financial struggles into financial success. Your financial stability is in your hands.